Hello and welcome to this video on solid state part 2 of 10. In the last video we introduced you to unit cells, the need for unit cells and how we can understand the entire property of a solid by just studying the property of unit cells and these properties were called intensive properties. Now we are going to do more on unit cells, basically the shapes by in which the unit cells exist and to some extent the way the atoms and ions and molecules are arranged in a particular shape. Now based on observation as well as based on symmetry considerations, it was predicted that there are only seven possible shapes in which unit cells can exist. And till this day we have seen millions and millions of unit cells and none of them violate these rules. Therefore all unit cells pertain to only seven of these shapes. And these shapes are cubic, orthorhombic, rhombohedral, tetragonal, triclinic, hexagonal and monoclinic. To understand what these shapes actually look like, we need to understand what are known as the cell parameters. The cell parameters consist of crystal angles and intercepts. Intercepts are the length, width and height. Crystal angles are the angles between these. So length, width and height. Length represented by A and the width represented by B, the height by C. If the three sides are unequal, the longest is C, the height, second longest is A and the shortest is the width. The angle between A and um, rather B and C, which is opposite to the A, this angle is called alpha. The angle which is opposite to A, uh, opposite the angle between A and C that is opposite to B is called beta and the angle opposite to C that is between A and B is called gamma. Now let us understand each of these shapes based on these crystal parameters. So we have a table here. First of all, we talk about the crystal systems and the lattice parameters, intercepts as well as angles. The first is cubic shape. And as we all know, cubic shape, all the three a, B, C are equal to each other and each of them is equal to 90 degrees. And the shape looks somewhat like this. A, B and C, alpha, beta and gamma. Cubic shape. The next is orthorhombic, which is traditionally called as cuboid. None of the three sides are equal, but all the angles are 90 degrees. And that is orthorhombic. A, B and C alpha, beta and gamma, orthorhombic. The next is rhombohedral. All the three angles are equal. All the three sides are equal, but the angles are not 90. So that's rhombohedral. Remember, all the three sides are equal. All the angles are equal, but they are not 90 degrees. They can be any other angle. That's a rhombohedral for you. Then you have the shape of tetragonal. Now tetragonal is something which can be inscribed in a cube. If this is a cube, my handwriting is pretty bad and my drawing is even worse. So please bear with me when I draw these things. Uh, let us assume this is a cube. Now let's take the midpoint of each side. This is a midpoint, midpoint, midpoint and midpoint. Similarly, on top you got four midpoints of the four edges there. Now join these midpoints. As you will notice, these sides will be equal. Join these midpoints at the bottom. And obviously these sides will be equal. And when you join these and these, that will not be equal. So two sides are equal to each other. The third side is not equal to these two sides, but if you notice all the angles are 90. 
this angle is 90 this angle is 90 and uh, this angle is 90 so all the angles are 90 degrees that is a tetragonal shape so two sides are equal third is not all the angles are 90 and that's tetragonal for you a b c alpha beta and gamma tetragonal shape the next is hexagonal two sides are equal not equal to the third just like tetragonal two angles are 90 and one is 120 so this looks like a, tetra a hexagonal unit cell a b equal not equal to c the angle between a and c and b and c are 90 and a and b is 120 so alpha is 90 beta is 90 gamma is 120 that's hexagon for you then you have monoclinic none of the sides are equal two of them are 90 angles one is not so that's monoclinic and the last of all triclinic you cannot have a shape worse than this in terms of symmetry and that's why these are the seven shapes because these are the seven symmetrical considerations that you can have the first one is triclinic none of these sides are equal none of the angles are equal and none of them is equal to equal to 90 so nothing is equal and nothing is equal to 90 degrees that's triclinic for you and you have to remember these cell parameters to understand each of these shapes now let us understand how are the atoms arranged in these particular shapes now this is called different arrangements in a shape and these arrangements is basically called lattice it has been found again based on symmetry considerations that there cannot be more than four ways of arranging atoms ions or molecules in any given shape no shape can have more than four arrangements until date we have seen millions of unit cells and none of them violate this rule again this is based on symmetry considerations so these four arrangements are very special arrangements and no shape can have more than these four in fact there is only one shape which has all the four and that is orthorhombic the rest of them can have less than four arrangements the first is called primitive next is called body centered then you have face centered and then you have end centered these are the maximum arrangements possible in any given shape and orthorhombic is the only shape which has it we'll discuss that a bit later in the future videos and this video ends here with the basic nature of arrangements in the next part that is part three we'll be talking about cubic shape and we'll try to find out how these four arrangements exist what is the meaning of primitive what is the meaning of body centered face centered and end centered and cubic has only three of them primitive body centered and face centered doesn't have end centered we'll also find out why it does not have end centered so all of that would be in the next video please remember to subscribe to this channel as it is this encouragement of yours that helps me make more and more videos like this and if you have any suggestions queries doubts observations please drop them in the comment section below if you like the video please do not forget to hit the like button too this is kalyan kumar signing off have a great day goodbye and thank you for watching